Art in the City shines a spotlight on amazing public art pieces, talented artists, and other creative stories in our city. Tune in to hear the stories behind these masterpieces right here on Fahrenheit TV. Art in the City, Art in the City, yeah, yeah. Hey Fahrenheit TV, we had the blessing to see the progression of the latest mural by Pro Black and the GN crew on Dewey Square. Now, if you've visited Dewey Square on the Greenway, you've seen all of the beautiful murals commissioned by artists all over the world. But this year, it's super historic because it is the first mural commissioned by local artists and by the first local artists of color. You're probably thinking, wow, it took this long? I know, but I truly believe in divine timing because these four brilliant, creative, and legendary artists were the chosen creatives to do it. And they literally painted a masterpiece that is on view for all of us to see until May of next year. We visited Dewey Square over a three day period to see the progression of this mural. And every day we got to witness the impact it was having on locals and art lovers all over the city. We are currently at the Greenway where we are witnessing the latest mural by the G and crew, which is looking so amazing. Oh my gosh, like the details on this amazing, beautiful girl with her beads and her Adidas tracksuit. I mean, wow, I can't wait until the final uh, mural is ready and ready to show to the world. So some of the things I really love about this mural so far is obviously the beads. The beads are beautiful, they look so realistic, and they remind me of my childhood. But I also love that it's in black and white because I feel like it's just gorgeous and it also makes it look very classic, you know? Um, and the love of the detail, I mean, the detail on this is just impeccable. It's just magnificent. It's gorgeous. and. Um, I really can't, I wonder like what music would be, you know, blasting out. Obviously, I think of hip hop, but I mean, it could be anything. She could be into anything. We hung around the rest of day one, just chilling and witnessing the greatness that was all around us. We also got to learn the inspiration behind this mural was by a photograph taken of Pro Black's beautiful daughter by fellow creative and Boston photographer, Gabriel Ortiz. Now, although Pro Black has depicted Black youth in his other murals around Dorchester and Roxbury, this is the first time that the subject is his own daughter, which made the passion behind this mural extra special. Even the boombox is a representation of one that his grandmother had. Talk about legacy. also had the blessing to talk to two of the GN crew members. One of them we've looked up to since we were little, Hinato, also known as Go5. We asked him how he felt being a part of this project. The first local artist, some of the new artists to make is a step in the road. Yeah, like I can imagine the process must be a lot. Can you tell us a little bit about the steps of like what goes um, into creating such a huge mural like this? The first is the sketch. Um, finding the, the subject matter. Um, being Bobby, I think it was the dopest 
dopest stuff to learn. I am a huge it, it is this big, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but the, the sketch process, you know, sitting down, going back and forth with each other. Black came up with this and it was just perfect composition. The photo was taken by another team member, Fiori mm -hmm. And um, when he showed me, when Black, you know, called me, it's like, yo, I, I think I got the idea. It showed it, yo, it was a perfect composition. Started the sketch, went in, we looked at it, and we said, hell yeah, this is exactly what we need. So it seems like you are uh, achieving, you know, going over fears because I heard that you are afraid of heights. Terrible. What gave, <laughs> what gave you the courage to go up there? My daughter. Yeah. Started watching, started coming up, and, you know, simply saying, Mommy, you scared? Like, yeah, I'm terrified. You going up? Yeah, I'm going up. Why? Because I want to come in. I want to show her that you got to face it. You can't be afraid of it. You can't be Lewis was also kind enough to share with us what it means to him to be a part of this epic mural project. I met, I met some of my, my crime partners when I was like 13, mm -hmm. and then I met Rob probably around 14. Oh wow, and, you know him uh, since you were 14? Yeah, That's I pretty dope. Since I was 14. Yeah. And uh, we started doing stuff like painting the Peters Park wall, doing the ALA battles, mm -hmm. um, and then just you know, hitting spots and going out to hit spots to, to do like murals and get paid for it. Did you think you would ever do a huge mural here on the Greenway? Um, not the Greenway. Yeah. I never thought about the Greenway. I, so it's funny. I always have this conversation, and, and so I actually like I me and Odyssey, another member of our team, have always said this. It's like we're around those people, mm -hmm. so it's you no are. surprise that we're gonna do those things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just you know sometimes you just you go through your regular Monday in life and you forget to like realize like, oh yeah, like, like you have to, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you guys are legendary. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty dope. That. We are so grateful that the GN crew took the time to talk with us today, but we're even more grateful that they are sharing their artwork with us, their greatness with us, their legacy with us. They're working really hard on it, and so I already know that the, the final is going to be even more beautiful than it is right now. So can't wait to see that. We'll see you on day three. Hi Fahrenheit TV, we're back for our third visit to see this epic mural, and it's really coming along. I mean, the details are insanely epic. From her Adidas sneakers, to the top of her hat with the gold, to the radio. I mean, wow. Have you haven't seen the cassette? It's really, really coming together and it always looks even better than, you know, our last two visits. So the artist's work on this mural is really, really inspiring for me as a growing artist. I know it's inspiring for the millions and millions of people walking by and just, you know, in awe of the greatness. It's been such a blessing to be able to witness the process behind this mural coming together. I mean, just seeing the ink of gold apply to this was such a great experience to learn from, especially being able to sit with other artists on the grass and talk about, you know, what goes into uh, making this so bright and vibrant. And as you can see, I mean, this, this mural is just so historic and it really speaks to me, not only as a fellow Bostonian, but also as an artist, as a proud and happy black girl, you know, just being able to see this come alive from artists that I've looked up to and admire their work. It's so deserving. And I really hope that this summer, this year, you will all take the chance to go see this mural for yourself. When you do, please tag the artist because the artists have really put in a lot of work into this so shout out to all the artists and the people behind the scenes that made this opportunity possible i am so grateful for this mural and i can't wait to visit it over and over again and i hope you will too fahrenheit tv audience i hope you guys will go see this and again tag the artist listen to some music that makes you feel good in honor of you know this epic radio in the background um and i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful summer and tune into the next episode of art in the city coming to you soon Thank you.